I. We hate it. We love it. Let's go. AI. 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 Right. Who's the AI? I'm tired of being oh. accused of oh. being the AI clone. You're the AI clone. Don't listen to him. He's the one. Uh, uh, I don't know which one to shoot. Guys, I think it's me. Hey, oh, man. Don't oh. talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a problem. How do I solve this? It's a. You just click the. You just. Hmm. Well, have you tried. I wonder. A gun! Bang, 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 bang. Yes! The American way! In the field. Okay. Self-driving cars. Sorry, my head's covering the word cars. I just got distracted. I looked down. There was a okay. video. Fuck, it's like five minutes crafts. Yeah. And they're, they're just going, easy way to cut a watermelon in half. <laughs> and there's two people. <laughs> I hate five minutes crafts. One's on one side of a car, the other one's on the no! other. You wind up the window <laughs> and slices the watermelon in half. This is fucking genius. What they should do is they should put a genius, I tell you. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the glass. Yeah, the glass should be like broken glass. <gasps> oh. the okay, okay, so I've got one for AI. Once right. fully self driving cars yes. are really mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. commuting will become mm -hmm. a much smaller deal. You've arrived at your destination. Because Lovely. if you can sleep in your car, then the commute isn't a problem. Yeah. Sure. So you buy the Cybertruck, you kit out the back like a bathroom, essentially, so you can brush your teeth and get ready for work. Yeah. You sit yeah. up from your house at 5 a.m. Meanwhile, you're not even waking up till 7. Yeah, yeah. And you live like two and a half hours away from the city. That's not a problem. You live in the beautiful countryside, and that's just part of your sleepy routine. Yeah. Honestly? Making... Honestly? I like it. Dinner and you're missing an onion. Your car has a full kitchen in it, too. <laughs> yeah, you just keep cooking. You go to the supermarket. When you get to the supermarket, a robot comes out with one onion. Yeah, yeah, it gives it yeah. to you. Oh, yeah. damn. You, you tap the side of your forehead, pays it automatically. <laughs> <laughs> in Bitcoin, which at this point is now the world's <laughs> currency. Of course, the full kitchen, it's not built into the dash. It's its just a series of wall sockets and a bench. Yes. And you keep meaning to like find something to screw it down, but you just haven't quite found the time. Why do I always pick deep frying on these trips? <laughs> yeah. Bro, well, that's where he went wrong. He should have gone with an air fryer. <laughs> really should pick something else. All right, we'll do sous vide. Jesus. Stop. No. Pharaoh, thanks for the follow. Sous vide. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. What is it? How does it, it pronounced? Sous vide. Sous vide, whatever. Sous vide. I don't even see it seen it written. Then you're, then you're cutting up the onions in the back. You've got the automatic robot that's like sucking. Oh my god. Yeah, yep, there's a small Roomba. <laughs> cleaning up all the mess, all the grease on the ground. Do not trip over him. Cybertruck 2. Drive faster, please. <laughs> so, Dr. Hey, I'm, re I'm really getting quite late for my dinner date. Put it in <laughs> erratic mode. Oh, oh, now he's going in. <laughs> Cybertruck, divert all suspension power <laughs> to the accelerator. <laughs> oh. Cybertruck, nice. uh, turn off all, all unsealed road diversions. <laughs> yes, ignore all detours. Put full power to the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Just blind everybody. <laughs> Cybertruck, activate horn mode. <laughs> <laughs> You've got... Oh no, I didn't bring my family a, a half slice of watermelon. Oh no! <laughs> Cybertruck, open up the sunroof, would you? <laughs> Oh, the sunroof's the guillotine. No! <laughs> no, the fingies! The future. The future's sweet. <laughs> and the th and the beauty is there's just a hundred people on the road doing the same thing. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> it is going to be interesting because I don't give a shit about cars. No. Who does? As a man, you know, you have there's kind of a primal like appreciation for for big machine, but. I don't
Um, all guys, only like, uh, uh, no, sorry. Guys are divided in three categories. Guns, cars, and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I don't care. I, yeah. to this day, can't tell any cars apart. You know, like my Uber drivers, like pulling up in a fucking uh, a, a Demio. I'm like, I don't know what that is. It's gonna be interesting. I'm all free. Be a mix uh, of people like you or I. Oh, history, right? You're right. I forgot history. You see it as a means of transportation, and so like a self-driving car with a fully equipped kitchen and goon mm. station set up is gonna be king and we're gonna look like yeah. fucking idiots on the roads and hell you're yeah gonna have the car guys who they still want to drive their car yeah and obviously you're not going to be able to stop them so there's just going to be this really weird mix of people on the road okay i've got two things so first of all yes if i was a smarter man an engineer do you know what mm -hmm. i would spend some of my time doing in the mobile goon cave oh my god belt for someone who can lie yeah. down oh okay that'll like the reason you can't sleep in like a caravan is because oh you know you might go flying around in the caravan people sleep in caravans anyway that's too dangerous but mm. if you could prove that hey well i'm i'm still strapped in even though i'm sleeping that's fine you get the patent for that everybody's gonna pay you three cents or whatever the fuck for why don't we have that yet what the fuck <laughs> wait why don't we not have that yet what i'll do is i'd have the the seat belt but go from my groin just up over my shoulder and just hope like how you don't crash. Yeah. Uh, Cybertruck, hit the brake, would you? I'd like to be bifurcated. <laughs> <laughs> Cybertruck, new to me. <laughs> like, if you've got these... If you've got these cars... And you know mm -hmm. that, like, it'll just slam the brakes as hard as it can to yeah. prevent someone getting hit, then there's going to be some real asshole pedestrians. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that yet. Oh my god. Can you imagine that? It's gonna be me? Which one? Which one? Are you gonna be the pedestrian? Hey, still you imagine a freeway and these computers can just react in, with millisecond precision. Yeah. And so you may as well just walk uh. across the freeway, and if everybody has to hit the what, what, what game is this? They're getting f***ed up in their cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not my problem. <laughs> oh my god. Cybertruck turn off pedestrian detection. Chat GPT, here we go. Here we go. Uh, is AI gay? That was gay? Detroit? Okay. Yes. Is AI gay? Yes or no? Let's ask. Chat, is AI gay? Okay. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And it said... As an AI language model, I don't have a sexual orientation or characteristics. If you have any other questions, I hate that. Boring. This is the worst part. <laughs> Boring. Questions. Feel free to ask. So, like, I just did. Yeah, what do you think I'm here for? <laughs> Although I gotta say, you know what ChatGPT is good for? I mm -hmm. chuck in an earpiece and I am talking to that thing an hour a mm -hmm. day. Really? Yes, but they have chosen to have five voices and only one is good and like okay get this right you're making an artificial intelligence you're trying to make it attractive to everyone but the five voices that they've decided to roll out is one customer service lady Hello, oh god I'm about your current car insurance <laughs> mm. two is like a boy i want to be spider-man all right number three is also a boy. No, I want to be Spider-Man. Number four is like a teenage boy. No, I want to be Spider-Man. Is this a program for teenage boys that have no friends? <laughs> yes. And number five is like Scarlett Johansson. From her. You're just really ugly. <laughs> Chat GPT is awesome because when I am stuck in a game, I just type my problem in GPT and I get everything I need to know instead of searching trough forum posts, Reddit, etc. That is true. Chat GPT is really good now. It's gotten really, really, really good. And that's fine, but everybody is going to choose that one because it's <laughs> just the most pleasant voice. So you've given us five options. I think the third one, where you also said it was a teenage boy, sounded fine. Spider-Man. Number four. All right. Like, Number uh, three like... is also a boy. No, I want to be Spider-Man. I think this one is fine. I think this is the one we constantly hear on YouTube shorts now. I figured it out. YouTube shorts are made from AI. 
Oh my god. The that internet theory is real. Chat, I'm scared. Oh no. Number four is like a teenage boy. No, I want to be Spider Man. The f is like, yeah. Stop. Yeah. And that's fine, but everybody is going to choose that one because it's just <laughs> the most pleasant voice. So you've given us five options, and only one is good. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? And then with the sky voice, you can't even select it. It's turned off at the moment. So Wait, what? The customer service lady, and she's fine. I heard the Scarlett Johansson thing was uh, was a bit of a, a legal sheet. Scarlett Johansson was shocked, angered by OpenAI ChatGPT voice. It sounds like it. Oh my god. Mannequin. Yeah, I I don't think they really took her voice and trained it off a whole bunch of movies. They just went, oh, this lady also sounds like Scarlett Johansson. You don't want to do it, Scarlett? All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll get this like. lady, then. Like Simpsons, like, uh, get me Steven Spielberg. He's unavailable. Then get me his non-union Mexican equivalent. <laughs> yeah. Good timing. They've just added, like, four new voices. Oh. Uh, none of these are good either. Like, listen to this. Oh, my God. I want to be Spider-Man. 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 I think the first one was pretty decent. Uh, none of these are good either. Like, listen to this. I want to be Spider-Man. Maple is fine. I want to be Spider-Man. There was eh. I want to be Spider-Man. The soul is okay. I want to be Spider-Man. Aubersons kind of hot. Aubersons fine. I want to be Spider-Man. And he wants to be Spider-Man. They need, like, fun stuff. It would be so good if you could get Mr. Beast. <laughs> and every time he treats her like it's a competition. <laughs> and he's and screaming. <laughs> that would be so good, so, man. Like a good type of pine tree that goes in my region. We're here with a hundred thousand pine trees. <laughs> uh, what kind of tree is Actually, a pine tree? Actually, that would be good. I've got ten million deciduous <laughs> trees. <laughs> <laughs> that would go Which so hard! The timber that we use. You've got a million YouTube voices out there, and you're not gonna have like critical being like, um, hey guys, today, like, how's it going? <laughs> I can see that you're trying to calculate how many miles to the moon. I think that's really rad. <laughs> that's so fucking long. And the funny thing is, we already have their voices trained on AI. We already have their voices trained on AI, or AI trained on their voices. Uh, Monster TTS, they're already there! Man. <laughs> How about, like, Pepsi Max? Yeah, it, there's, <laughs> what? A, there's a, um... Pepsi Max, c calculate the distance from here to the moon. <laughs> by the way, sir, by the way, would you like a Pepsi Max? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Four million Pepsis to the nearest star. <laughs> what the fuck? You'd want, like, you'd want Batman or something, like, to be Oh, yeah! I, I can tell you all about Pine Trees, kid, but... There's a lot you wouldn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. That sort of stuff, you know? Yeah, that you would be like, cool. Well, no, you you, you want to be Batman, and you'd want it to be like Batman's little fucking... You want it to be oh, like... Oh, yeah. Well, they've got Robin. Jiminy Jilliker's Batman. Yeah. <laughs> they already got that one covered. AI gaming? Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell you what. Uh I have found a new use for AI. You put an earpiece in, right? Yeah. And then you play... A video game like okay. one with like rpg elements and <laughs> <laughs> Not the journalist! you don't know all the mechanics and it is so much fun like if you play baldur's gate 3 and then you pick up some item and you're like oh a dark mind what does this do or like a brain in a jar you mm -hmm. go i might use this later maybe i don't know and then i just ask it i go hey do i, do I use this for anything and then it goes <laughs> Wouldn't Siri already be able to do that? Hey Siri! Was ist das Item Dark Mind and Baldur's Gate 3? Uh -huh. Okay, das habe ich online zu was ist das Item? Fuck off. Shut the fuck up, Siri. Sh Siri, you shit. I, I guess you gotta be more specific with shit. But yeah, in theory, Siri already does this shit. But AI would be better. Yeah, AI would be better at it. Okay, never mind. It's brilliant. It does take away. I feel like it takes away some of the magic of, of a game. Like <laughs> Baldur's Gate. But in another game, I feel like who gives a shit? Mm. That's great. We go. I my armor is like 
armor rating 14. What does that mean? Is that good? Not to say this is a bad idea by any means, but you could also just hop on a phone call with me for like... Phone call with me for like... Just... <laughs> I just looked at my second screen. Oh my god. Did anyone else here just check their Discord? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> You just had me in your <laughs> piece for eight hours. Yes! <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is kind of sad. When, um... Okay. When, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had my, my AI in my ear, and I had just asked it, where's Karlak? Because I didn't know where she was on the map. Oh, you rube. Uh -huh. it, got, it got through giving me step-by-step -step instructions like it was fucking Google Maps. It was brilliant. You arrived at your destination. And then <laughs> afterwards, I went, I found it! And the AI... I'm not even in VC. Why would I get tricked by that? Neither am I! <laughs> Neither am I! <laughs> Yet I have my fucking... Uh, Discord on D&D too! I cause... That's great. I hope you enjoy the rest of your game. <laughs> hey! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will. And it was, it was kind of uh... nice. I mean, you know why I would? Honestly, I don't think it would be that bad of a thing since... Honestly, it is just a more advanced series. It's not that big of a deal. Lost Colossus, thanks for the follow. I think this could be pretty good. I think this could be pretty good. And since it's like, you don't have to use it. You can. You don't have to, you know. We'll enjoy the rest of my life. That's, that's, I will that's actually what you say. That was, that was funny. Ad time. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm out of data on me phone. Sally Man! Take this phone data for 15% off. Sally! That's so generous. Wait, what's the product? It's Sally, a brand new eSIM service from Sally Man! And that data? works all over the world. Whoa! That's right, Mo. Saley works in over 150 countries. I imagine AI is gonna be used to generate slop stories for like dailies and MMOs, where it would make sense. Bro, that would actually be so sick. Where it would just generate random as quests that you can do and fulfill as dailies. I think that would be pretty fucking cool. Let's go down to South Sudan and help the people. Boom! 15% off. Ah, yes! Thank you, silly man. Now silly man, thank you. More Chat and YouTube, take your mats. If you haven't yet, take your mats. I'm taking my second dose right now. I will see you guys tomorrow. It can be crush. It's not just for him. It's for anybody that goes yes. to the... Yes, that was a joke about you guys disappearing after me taking my mats. Link. That was so generous, silly man. Shut up. I'm thrilled that I no longer have to deal with the telecom companies. Uh, may I please have international roaming data? Yeah, but we're gonna have to upgrade your plan to the next level and then it's gonna Boo! be $70 a month. Boo! Sailor man! Shut up. <gasps> the Sailor signal. Shut up! Look over there, Sailor man. It's a mugging. <gasps> Not in one of America's vibrant cities. Da -da -da -da. Sir, why are you mugging that person? I tell you, the cost of living is 15% too expensive. See, Mo, the people need help with their roaming data. Take this 15% off coupon. Sailor! <laughs> Thank you, Sailor Man. Sailor! The only mugs around here, Sailor Man, are the telecom companies with their outrageous mo- Not telecom! data prices. So right now, you can go over to saley.com slash incognito and get 15%- What? 15%- Okay, but like, 50% off of what? Off? Who's- What? At Eason. With at saley.com slash- Like, that doesn't tell me anything! Slash incognito. Add over. AI music, now. Now that's one part where I would disagree. Mostly. I think music is inherent- a form of expression same for art same for art man now you had a thing that you wanted to show me actually yes what the hell was that so i've been very harsh on ai art so far however there's something you need to know about me yeah all of my morals go out the window as soon as i can make one of my friends laugh or a sizable youtube audience
AI <coughs> music is very funny. Mm. You can type anything. Like, okay, there's some AI music that is very funny. What I mean, okay, let me correct myself. AI music in the sense of making something funny, like Mr. Krabs singing fucking Beatles. Uh, no, not Beatles, sorry, Beat It. <laughs> Mr. Krabs singing Beat It by Michael Jackson goes fucking hard. Okay? That shit does go hard. And I think that, that shit is funny. Posted yeah? a music piece on Discord three days ago. I wrote the lyrics myself, but the whole music part was made by I with prompts. Here's the thing about music being completely made by AI in that uh, sense. I heard um, someone made um, an AI song with my voice, right? Uh, they posted it on Discord. Which, I, I don't care if you do that, you can do that, I, I really don't care. If you think it's uh, funny, if you think it's creative, fine, do it, I, I don't care. As long as you don't fucking abuse my voice to say shit that I wouldn't say, you know? So I think that's fine. Um, but when I was listening to it... There was no emotion in the voice. Obviously, man. Obviously, because it's AI. It's uh, just uh, trying to do certain things to make it sound like the sounds. But there was no proper emotion. Like, it sounded good, but it missed that oomph. It missed that oomph. And I don't think that shit can ever re be properly replaced. Like, you know, soul. Soul. AI doesn't have a soul. To be fair, most of the pop music was created by compiling data of popular music. So, uh, in my honest opinion, there isn't much difference in AI. I think there's a difference in in the soul. Uh. Nero singing is good, though. Nero singing is okay. It's her voice being made to hit the notes. I don't think it's outstanding. It's good, but it's not outstanding. But, you know, and that's just something AI can't do. Maybe it can't do it yet, but it's just something AI can't do quite yet. And I think that's important to like keep our humanity. Letting people know it's made by AI, every by AI everything is fine. By me claiming AI stuff as your own work is meh. That is also true. That is also true. Also, AI being trained on stolen work. That's also where I find an issue. <coughs> I will make a Kitsu raging AI and hack on all platform and upload it. Every time peeps open the hub, it will say, Yo, mom. <laughs> okay, man. I think it's important to use your own creativity to steal the AI. Definitely. into it and it will make the catchiest song you've ever heard here's a song we made on my podcast oh boy my monitors have arrived my posters on roll that's gonna be a good time i'm twiddling my peanuts to bailey j hey, yo what <laughs> one finger in you what the <laughs> what Prove I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you come up with the lyrics? Yeah, we just wrote like one line at a time, like taking turns. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Busting in the promised land. That's scarily good, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that weird? What is this called? What is this called? Soon. Um, now the other great thing about this is you can just write gibberish and it figures out how to sing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Sooner too, sooner scrape, but I'm free, I see. Blast the troops. 
I'm thinking we should come up with a couple of uh, songs ourselves. I think that's a good idea. All right, Mr. Kudos, welcome to the new studio. <laughs> How do we make one of our own? You can't say specific artists, which is good, okay. but you can give it a few different prompts. Let me give you the official theme song of In the Field. Tesla. Pop, piano, female singer. Okay, so okay. okay. In the field, in the field, in the field. Well, uh, we'll see what happens here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, nice, calculating, here evaluating. <laughs> This puppet thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's so good. Okay, let's maybe we go line by line. We'll do our own. There's a guy in the office here, and he's allergic to peanuts. Oh, we've got one of those. That's your diversity <laughs> hire. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Not the diversity <laughs> hire. He's looking at me. And he... <laughs> at the moment, he's not very pleased. <laughs> Things that have peanuts in them. Chicken satay. Snickers. Reese's Pieces. Maybe I'm I'm coming out of my shell. And I'm doing just fine. Yeah. Because <laughs> it starts off with his fear of peanuts, and but then by the end, he's like, no, I've decided to eat the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like back in the day where Michael Jackson was mastering mm -hmm. Thriller. <laughs> and there's everyone crying. This is just the same, yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Change that, change that bit, yeah. And yeah. add in more chorus. <laughs> just the same. Oh my God. So scroll back down. Okay, my doctor thinks I'm nuts, but that just can't be. My <laughs> life's too smooth to be chunky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just shoot this one out. Yep. All right, it's called Peanut Go. Steve. I'm allergic to peanuts. If no. I touch them, I'll die. No. Snickers. <laughs> my throat closes up, men's. <laughs> my throat closes up. I'm falling into Reese's arms and pieces. Is no. this pie pie peanut free? <laughs> Maybe like a Russian choir? Oh, this is so talking. sad. Does it taste like a bee? Does it taste like a nut? That's all right. Here's the funk one. Hey! Okay, not gonna lie, that goes hard. That does go fucking hard. Hey! Oh my god! This, this goes so hard, what the fuck? My life's too smooth to be oh my god, it's so catchy. You know what? I take the I take what I said earlier back, bro. This goes hard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah. gonna have that in my head. That's pretty good. Alright, let's make a new song. Here's on pitching. Going out to the club, having a few drinks, kind of song. You know, like a uh, black eyed peace tonight's gonna be a good night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like How's the yet going along? Yeah. Floor, like, Get floor. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, more nonsense, but yeah. Get floor. This is the chorus. Tonight is going to be the evening of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Now, ladies, now, ladies, put your arms. Put your yeah, that's it, no, that's it. <laughs> I spy a girl. The whole club is here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's genius. Well, what if we what if we just preview that and then see where we are? Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chat. Chat. Can I see some hype? The floor. into the mix i just <laughs> oh my god play it back and look at his dance look at his dances <laughs> yeah the floor <laughs> if you threw this into the mix i just wouldn't know that it wasn't real yeah so my friend jared did his girlfriend well, the voice, you can still hear a little bit in the voice that it's not a real voice, that the voice is AI altered. Like, you can hear that, but... 
Bro, it does sound good. I made a bunch of stupid songs and he just like played it for it. Like just casually like put it on the background so <laughs> she'd notice. I don't think she did. For the record, I do not condone this. <laughs> okay. Okay, for the record. <laughs> The best part is that with AI, you don't have to avoid your favorite songs when the artist gets exposed to be a PDF. <laughs> just, just wait a, a couple hundred years, chat. Just wait a couple hundred years when AI gets sentient. Just wait. I do. I know. Brain chips. Of... Oh yeah, shit, 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 shit. I remember. I remember. A fucking Elon Musk presented a guy that actually has like a fucking brain chip now where he played the fucking video game just with the power of the chip in his head. Teach. By the way, he was like completely fucking paralyzed. Uh, and the ones I know I like, but man, 90% of teachers out there are just shit at their job. <laughs> True. Yeah, this True. There's a, there's a lot of bad teachers, and that does uh, definitely impact people's desire to learn. Yeah, I think he played stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Having a thing that you can just like voice chat with and be like, right, so what's what's the deal with the area of a rhombus? And you talk to it and then it tells you and you go, I don't get it. Dumb it down. <laughs> and then you can do that ad infinitum. Oh and my god. Just keep dumbing it down. Oh my god. <laughs> get it. Th that's working off the assumption that there would be a student who has the thirst for knowledge. I'm just going to be like, hey, how do I fucking. F I can't be bothered. <laughs> Actually, man. <laughs> yeah, do this and give me 80% the right answers, thanks. Yeah, no, it's it's actually going to be fucked in that sense. Okay, here's a scenario. First off, like, let's say you could have a computer brain interface. Yes. Okay. But then, oh, well, you're back at school, 50% of the kids mm -hmm. and they want to learn, and then there's the 50% that don't. And then yeah. one half goes off, go to jobs and, and regular stuff, and then the Chad, how do you feel about being immortalized? <laughs> Chad? How do you feel about being immortalized as an AI? How do you feel about that? Academia will have to adjust quite drastically. They do. Yeah, they will. Nope. Hey, I played Cyberpunk. I haven't. Don't wanna. I should be forgotten out of existence, bro. <laughs> Personally, I... I'm scared of death. I think if there was a way for me personally, and not just an AI of me to live on, I think I might take it because I am scared of perishing. I am very scared of perishing. I am so, 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 so scared of perishing. I want to be... Uh, no, I want to be immortalized being a show writer or an entertainer. Okay. Okay, that's a different kind of immortalization. I'm actually talking about being immortal. Pretty neutral. I wouldn't be around to judge it after all. So uh, You will still perish. Your AI isn't you, though. That's... Okay, what I mean, though. That's what I said. Like, that's what I said, though. If it was me, me, myself, if I could upload myself, if I could transfer, not upload, if I could transfer my consciousness onto... A fucking robot or some fucking shit, right? I think at one point in life I would take it, like towards like the end of my life where I've, where my body would be like giving out and shit. I must have at least one statue to feel good when dying. <laughs> I would now if I could. Yeah, hell no, I don't want to be here longer than I have to. Really? I want to be immortalized as that fucking bitch. Yeah, it's gonna stream for eternity as an AI. Chat wouldn't even know. <laughs> yes, you would play as AO. Yes, I would. Either way, moving on. Other half, they can have like the universal basic income thing, right? Yeah. But the cost is, I rent out the computing power of my brain <laughs> because it's so much more efficient than any of the data centers. And then it's like you plug in for maybe eight hours, and they're like, "Yeah, cool, here's." That was the video, not you. Check, and then off you go. That is awfully dystopian. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's loving it. That's the most dystopian thing I've ever heard. And I love it. I and love it. To me, you can power all the AI robots, like domestic cleaning robots and stuff, but you don't have to lift a finger. You can effectively just play video games with one half of your brain and the other. We're going to end up like in Wall E. Fat.
people on scooters just being driven around watching TV. <laughs> Half is, is unconscious and just doing stuff. Hey man, sign me up. I would have an augmented like limbs. I think having like a fucking sweet robot arm where I could like punch through walls and like j run really fast. <laughs> what the fuck? I okay. definitely do just, that. Uh, just superpowers, yeah. Yeah, I want I, I want to be physically stronger, but don't touch the brain. I need that. Mm. Man, I already struggle to fucking discern <laughs> reality from fiction as it is. No! What if it's operating while you're asleep? That's what I'm saying. It'd be terrifying. Like, oh, I, I, do I fully have control anymore? Or does the man have control? Because you know they would never turn that thing off fully, even if you asked them to. Yeah, it'd be doing yeah, like that's firmware true. updates just for the sake of security and all that sort of stuff. And it would yeah. be reading like small parts of your thoughts to be like, okay, he's he's interested in McDonald's. <laughs> we need to increase our, our Burger King sales. <laughs> budget. <laughs> what you want to do is you do whatever the rich people are doing. Because they would know. If none of the politicians and rich people were getting microchips, we definitely shouldn't be getting, <laughs> shouldn't be doing this. He has a point. He has a point. I suppose. Half the fun of being human is being like, oh, what what happened with this thing here? And the other person being like, oh, I'm not really too sure. And then even though you have the power to Google it, you don't. And you just say, oh, yeah, that's probably what happened. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's most what? of my experience. Just being like, yeah, I think, yeah. I think that guy died. Oh, well, I won't look it up. Imagine how weird conversations would be if just everyone had brain chips like that. And you're going out, you're just having like a casual like brunch conversation. Be like, oh. And instead of talking to each other, you just stare at each other to figure out what you guys did and then, yeah, good talk. Oh, what happened with that? Do you remember, yeah. did you ever hear about uh, Watergate? And then you just see the other person go like limp for a second while they like <laughs> go into their mind palace and then come <laughs> back like, oh yeah. You know, you know like doing your cutscene when like yeah. you're playing The Witcher and they no! don't register the other half of the environment, right? It's just where the camera is pointing. Only yeah. that oh my God. is being... Oh, yeah, has into the shot. Yeah, yeah, because he has to reason. <laughs> oh that. my god. Every time we have like a normal conversation. <laughs> you were considering the 9 GPT no, no, no. No, no. No, no. no. That's the trade. No, we're, like, okay, we're gonna put brain chips in people, hmm. but we need some way to show that people are using I am the caffeinated you know, Twilight. People could be doing all sorts of sketchy stuff yeah. at all times. Yeah. So the, the trade-off yeah. is when you're using it, you go completely limp. So it'll be like that. That's how you can do like school exams still, even though you've got the chip, because they would, they'd be able to tell like, oh yeah. yeah that'd be great, because you'd be like- Honestly, yeah. You ask your mate, you go like, hey, what's <laughs> two plus two? <laughs> 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 Come on, please. <laughs> Bye. That... Do they Taco Bell wherever you are? No, unfortunately, no. It's the end of the I video. Wish. All right, chat PT, write an outro for this episode <laughs> right, of outro. Field and play. Well, that's it for today's episode of In the Field. Our boots are muddy. The mysteries of the internet are still somehow unsolved oh, deleted. and we probably violated a few deleted, deleted, deleted. Along the way. Uh, uh, uh. but uh, uh, hey uh. that's just another day on the world wide web true thanks for watching thanks for the and remember zero. not kick up reality is just a loading screen true see you in the next one incognito mode out beautiful i love it Beautiful. Beautiful. Either way, yeah, some of the AI music went really hard. I liked it. Picasso, Picasso. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye, YouTubes. Goodbye, YouTubes. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe and all that cringe shit. Hey. <laughs> hey.